Hey guys, welcome to Free For All's tips video. Uh, Free For All is one of the most exciting game modes out there and I hope to share some good insights with you today. So let's get started. Pay attention to your kill streak. With each kill you get certain amount of fist points and this fist points allows you to spawn into your 6th and 7th bot. As your kill streak extends, you will get higher fist points. However, your kill streak can end. So how do we know that? As you can see in this clip, you will see my kill count blinking. This indicates that my kill streak will end in any moment. So it is good to engage and go for a kill. Later in the game, I was able to get my kill streak going and pile up on that fist points. Use cover at all times. The first clip will show you a bad example of me using the cover. The second clip will show you a good example of me using the cover, using the dash ability to avoid one-on-one -on -one contact with the specters. Because in free fall you encounter lots of one on one situations, in this case face to face with an inquisitor I knew that I was going to lose, I wasn't able to use all three of my dragoons but using the cover and shooting out of the corner I was able to knock down this inquisitor. Always prioritize kills over damage because with every kill you get rewarded fist points, the fist points allow you to spawn into more robots meaning you're in the game for a longer period of time. Later in the game, you have more opportunity to do damage. So the damage actually comes in naturally. So you always want to prioritize kills. So this is an obvious one, but it's always good to mention the basics. So it's always not good to stay out in the open. If you stay out in the open area, you will become target to multiple players. So definitely know your spawn points. In certain maps, certain spawn points will definitely have edge over other spawn points. So in free fall, people tend to spawn in next to each other. So most times it's good idea to spawn in first because you have no one behind you or spawn in at last. The first clip will show you me spawning right in the middle. I was able to take out this one guy. As you can see, other guys would have advantage over me. The first spawn points and the last spawn points advantage don't seem to apply in every case. For example, on the next clip, in the dead city, the second spawn point is my favorite because as third spawn point, fourth spawn point players spawn in next to each other and when they engage, I can move in and prioritize my kills. Definitely come out prepared for larger maps. If you have a long range build, it will help you in the larger map. However, sometimes in the smaller map, you can mismatch the range and take out the other guy in one on one situation. Last but not least, prioritize on enemies with streaks. 
So this might be one of the most important points. Normally, if you kill one opponent, you will get two points. However, if you look down at the screen, this enemy had massive kill streak. So by taking out this enemy three, so I was able to get 14 fist points from nine points, bumped me up to 23 points. So thank you guys for watching, if you have your own points for this game mode, please share your tips in the comments. And I understand that for some of you, uh, this is very basic point, but I hope that I was able to help anyone who needed some tip for this game mode.